ClassicGameRoom.com Bonjour, it's Classic Game Room. What happens when you mix Portal with a tower defense game? You get Defense Grid. Watch it now or there's no cake for you. Welcome to the Aperture Science Center for Human Annihilation Studies. You know I loves me some Defense Grid, right? Because it's a great game and it's even better on PC when you get a whole lot of Defense Grid stuff. New levels, new missions, new stories, crisp, clean gameplay, awesome visuals, and all for a very reasonable cost. Download it today from Steam, unless it's tomorrow, in which case you're screwed. Because the robots could invade tomorrow, and then you won't get to enjoy Defense Grid. How do you feel now, slackers? My control has been severed. I can't fire it. That must mean... What? The aliens must have followed the shuttle and have breached the orbital platform. It's my fault. If I'd just been faster... Anywho, if you shorten Defense Grid, it just comes down to Def G. And that's what this game is. It's Def. Hype. It's ill. We are pleased to see that you have already picked up the basics of repelling an alien invasion. And it only gets better with all this great stuff. Play with a mouse or keyboard, hook up your Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Portal and Defense Grid, that's like ham and eggs. Hall and Oats, me and Vectrex. Things that just go well together. I reviewed this game quite some time ago on OnLive and did a bunch of level walkthroughs. I played it a lot, and the PC version gives you even more and sharper visuals. Kind of a complaint people had with OnLive. If you like tower defense games, you know the kind of games where you put down towers and enemy creatures, robots, things just walk into them and get blown up? Well, you're gonna love this. Defense Grid is one of the best games in this genre that I've played, and the fact that you get so much of it here makes it a must-buy, in my opinion, for fans of the genre. Here's an example of a nice challenging level where aliens enter the battlefield from two locations, and the cores even shift from one side of the playfield to the other halfway through the game. It's pretty tough, and it's easy to make a mistake, which I've done, so I lose this one. Your basic strategy is to make the aliens walk as far and as slowly as possible so you hit them with all of your weaponry. Defense Grid gives you a bunch of towers to choose from, guns, cannons, Tesla, electrocution devices, temporal slowdown, meteor, and there's even one that just gives them the finger as they walk by. There, uh, there actually isn't, but there should be. This is containment. Let's go over to you, monster, where we get to meet a familiar friend. Love that voice. Interesting. Perhaps this was to be expected. Subject finds new crutch to replace the one taken away. She takes away some of my towers, forces me to come up with a new strategy. Thanks. Here are some highly flammable inferno towers that you can use. Those temporal towers are just delaying the inevitable. The inevitable is that I'm going to win, because unlike fighting games, shooting games, puzzle games, and basically any other kind of game, I'm actually decent at tower defense. There's just something relaxing about this kind of game, managing your resources and placing towers at just the right locations to blow your enemies to bits. Let them do the work for you. You've probably figured out at this point in the review I like this game, and I do. I may lie to you about some things, like what year it is, but I'm being honest, Defense Grid is worth playing. This simulation does not intend to point out every time a fusion power core is lost, but in this case, one just was. If you have a computer and access to the internet and Steam, I recommend downloading this at once. The faster you play Defense Grid, the more quickly you'll be able to shove cake into your mouth. I hear it's delicious. The last of them. Oh no, it's not. You know, there's a lot more levels and a never ending supply of aliens waiting to be destroyed in Defense Grid. Play it now. 
One of your fusion power cores has been removed from the fusion power core housing. We don't want to tell you your business, but you should probably get it back. Quickly. Congratulations on demonstrating your addiction to specific tower types. The first step in overcoming your addiction is to admit that you have a problem. Please take that step now. <laughs>